Coach, in the early goings in this one, what were your feelings when they started coming out and being aggressive in that first quarter? We just had to stay poised. You know, we knew that they were going to come out and play, you know, with some aggression. Um, and that's what they did. We took their first punch and kind of answered it. But we just had to settle down and just play our game and not panic. Do you think that the, the zone that they played early on affected you offensively? No, I think, you know, shots just didn't go in. We got the looks we wanted to. Um, but they did, they did do a couple different things to give us a few different wrinkles. But we don't think the zone really bothered us. Uh, we just felt like the shots that we wanted to shoot weren't going in at the time. The defense, again, picking up, especially during the first three quarters, the principles being aggressive in the passing lanes, again, showed itself. And, and although it seemed like they – they were committing a lot of turnovers in that first and second quarter. Things kind of quieted down and, and things settled down in that third quarter. Do you agree? Yeah, you know, they got good guards and kept them poised and tried to get the ball where it needed to go and some veteran guards as well. So I think they did a good job of just pushing the pace, trying to get them organized um, and trying to get them into stuff, you know. So, uh, you know, a shout out to them and, and them just being professional and playing the game the right way. What do we need to look for in the second game tomorrow night? Uh, just go out there, fly around. Um, hopefully we can create a lot of turnovers off our defense, just being disruptive. But, you know, just to look to move the ball um, on the offensive end and on the defensive end, just play lockdown defense and have each other's back. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it, Dan. Thanks. DJ, the time that you and Orlando get on the court, you guys are, are really leading the Sky Force and, and helping them and get these big wins. It's, and the last three, you know, both of you have been have been instrumental in, in getting those wins. Is it, you know, how how do you describe what it takes to, to be able to 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 be, you know, on your game and find those angles and, and get especially in the paint with both you and Orlando? All right, um, you know, just just trusting our game and coach giving us that confidence, knowing that we are like one of the leaders on the team. So we just try to lead by example and showing people like who we are on the team. So. That's just how we do it. Just come out, show, play every day, and everything else take care of itself. Then it also helps to have you know, good outside shooting. And, and when it comes and, and you're able to, to find those angles and, and be able to, to work around, because when you're going against the zone, getting those outside shots, working inside out and outside in, and, and then you find, you find those gaps. Knowing that zone has weak spots, um, coach try to help us find the weak spots, and that's kind of the main focus. When other teams try to play zone, just find the weak spot, moving the ball, and the ball to find the right shot itself. Do you think in the fourth quarter, as far as letting them back in the game, is that going to be a trouble spot, or, or are there some things you can build upon from this game tonight? Definitely could build. Uh, that was one thing he said when we got back in the locker room, just finishing. Uh, we kind of let up at the end, and we know we could we could have kept our foot down. So it's just being consistent of just putting our foot down and keeping our foot down the whole game. All right, thanks, DJ. Congrats on the win. Appreciate you, man.